simple marriage story is Andrew wrote a book about relationships. Yeah, I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> So when you first met her, you weren't married, no. you went your separate ways because you were homeless, you ended up marrying another woman, right? Yes. And then you had children, but you and Marjorie reconnected how? Um, I got a divorce in 2005 and I was um, sitting in the casino gambling. So you weren't homeless anymore? No, I was doing really well. <laughs> I got a way of flipping stuff around for you. Sitting at a casino and I was gambling, and my bodyguard kind of knew I was kind of, you know, bent out a little bit because it's been rough. It was kind of ugly what I was going through. So he called her girlfriend in Memphis that he used to date, and he was talking to her, and he said, "Well, how's Marjorie doing?" She said, "I've talked to her all the time, but you know, I don't understand. Could she call me?" So he had Marjorie call her, and I'm sitting at the gambling table, and he hands me the phone. So you can't talk at the table. So I stepped up and said, "Hello, poker. You can't yeah. talk. <laughs> you can't talk if you're playing roulette or anything." No, that's I thought of every way to cheat. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> they don't let you talk. So I got on the phone. I said, hey. Uh, and she said, who is this? I said, who is this? And she said, Steve. And I went, wow, that's Marjorie. Because I hadn't heard her voice oh. in a long time. And so I said, how you been? So I asked her. You know, I knew she had gotten married. So, you know, she was in a bad relationship. So I said, how's your punk ass husband? <laughs> So I asked her, and she said, what are you talking about? She said, I've been divorced four years. I said, cool. So I got on a private jet and flew to Memphis. And you said, I'm not homeless anymore. No. <laughs> <laughs> You know, right. I was I was really not in a good position. You know, I, that's one of the things I write about in the book. You know, I try to tell women, you know, you, you need a period to figure a guy out. A, a guy's got to have a couple of things in place to who he is, to what he does, and, and how much he's going to make. You, that's critical to a guy. Now, if you go get a guy that don't know who he is, what he's going to do, and how what he's going to make, you have an incomplete guy. Yeah, but you could train them. No. Yes. <laughs> no, we're not trainable. <laughs> But you, yeah. you know what, Steve? I, I used this book, Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man, to gauge how the man I'm in love with feels.